Hey ya people, I'm King. Welcome back to King's Pet Channel. ROX equipment system might be a little bit confusing if you just started playing the game. Let's talk about the weapon. The weapon system is more similar to classic Ragnarok. Most class like wizard, knight, priest, and blacksmith can use either two-handed weapon or one-handed weapon with shield. Hunter will use two-handed bow. That being said, assassin class can wield two one-handed dagger. The katar is considered as two-handed weapon. In ROX, there are four types of equipment rarity. White color gear, blue color gear, purple color, and gold color gear. The white color weapon and other equipment can be obtained in instances or dungeon. The instance or dungeon will be unlocked at level 21. You can enter the instance at the adventure building or here it's at Critula College. There are two modes for instance, normal mode and hard mode. Clearing normal mode have a high chance of getting armor and shoes. Hard mode will give you weapon and accessories. You can enter the instance all day, but you can only get rewards three times per day. The game will count if you complete the instance and get the reward, not by entry. So if you fail to clear the instance, you can always go in again with stronger teammates and get the rewards, but only three times reward per day. You can upgrade the white gear at the gear improvement NPC in the city. You can upgrade a total of 6 times. The base state will be higher for every upgrade. Equipping the same colored gear will have a set effect. Set effect will be active whenever you equip different gear of the same color. The same effect will not stack, meaning that you only benefit from the set effect according to how many gear you equip. If you have 3 gear of the same color equipped, the first set effect will be active. If you have 6 gear of the same color equipped, only the second set effect will be active. This is the same to all equipment rarity. For white gear, it will have a different set effect from different instances. Level 25 gear have a different set effect from level 40 gear and so on. The blue gear on the other hand will have the same set effect but higher stat for every equipment level. Now for the blue rarity weapon and other equipment, you can get it by crafting at the weapon crafting NPC in the city. The blue set will have a higher best stat than the white one and also higher refined stat. To craft a higher level blue weapon, you need the previous level blue weapon, meaning that if you want to craft a level 40 weapon, you need to have the level 30 blue weapon. So you need to craft the gear start from the beginning. The gold weapon is from MVP drops. 
The MVP option will be unlocked at level 29. From the MVP list, you can look at the items available from the MVP. MVP will drop gold weapon and also headgear with a base state. Specific MVP will drop specific weapon. For example, I am a hunter. The gold bow weapon will be dropped by MVP Freoni for short bow or orc hero for long bow. So if I want to get a gold weapon, I will need to hunt these two MVP. So you need to check which MVP you need to hunt according to your class if you want to get a gold weapon. Gold weapon do not have a side effect and it cannot be upgraded. The level 25 white weapon with the highest upgrade will have almost the same base state with the gold weapon. Now you will be thinking, white weapon will have the advantage because white gear will have the side effect. But the refined state for gold weapon is higher than the white weapon. Now refining material for gold weapon is expensive than the white weapon. That is true but refining cost is increased every 4 levels. So the cost may be the same. Alright, the next one is purple equipment. You can get the purple gear in guild store. The guild function will be unlocked at level 20. There's a guild store inside the guild. You need to be in a guild to use the store. If looking at the equipment state, the purple equipment is exclusive for PvP. However, strengthening and refining it will add significant amount of HP. The set effect is also quite good. It prevents you from dying when receiving a lethal damage and immediately recover health for a certain percentage. That's it for equipment. I hope this video helps you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, happy playing. Bye-bye.